So this is a good question. I'll uh, answer it in context first, and then I'll answer it generally. So in context, if you're going to use Bash, why worry about POSIX-ness? Um, the context here is that I was talking about taking in dash dash command line arguments or long command line arguments. You know when you run a program and you can give it like dash h for help, but you can also give it dash dash help? Those double dash with the full words, those are called long options. Um, and there is no POSIX way of doing long options. The reason that came up in that video is because I was talking about bash specifically and using bash's built-in way of doing get ops, getting command line arguments. My point was that bash's built-in mechanisms does not support long options. So in order to get long option support, you'd have to reach for an external tool. And when you're reaching for an external tool in bash, I would prefer the POSIX one over the non-POSIX one because then at least I'm guaranteed they're gonna be there. So what I'm saying is start with the bash built-ins, then work your way up if they're not there to a POSIX compatible tool. And then if that's not there, you're gonna need to either write it yourself or rely on some tool that may or may not be consistent across different operating systems. So it's really just a priority at that point. I'm saying if you're writing a bash script, target bashisms first. If it's not there, target POSIX compliance second. And then thirdly, use whatever you need, either have to write it yourself or use some sort of uh, external tool that may or may not be consistent. That's what I'm saying. That was the uh, in-context answer. The more general answer, if you're going to use bash, why worry about POSIXness, is um, I still like my stuff to be portable. Now, I understand I'm targeting bash. Bash may not be on a POSIX-compatible POSIX operating system. That's fine. I'm making the assumption if you're downloading my bash script, you're going to run it with bash. That's my assumption there. So then beyond that, I want it to still work. So I'll try to use all the built-in facilities that I can. But if they're not there, I'm going to reach for the most portable ones before I reach for the more niche ones. Um, that's, that's my reasoning.